Hi, I'm Crystal Stranger with Clear.Tax. I'm here to share some of the tax knowledge I have and you need. Um, like this video, be sure to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. So today we're talking about what is an accountable plan. This is a super weird concept. Most people have no clue when they hear this term, but basically this is the way you can make deductions out of expenses that you've paid personally on behalf of your business, right? So the IRS says, hey, you can't just deduct absolutely anything that you pay. You need to have some contract, something to back it up and say, hey, this is definitely a legitimate business expense, right? Um, there's also a concept called commingling of funds, which is where you mix personal funds with business funds. This is always a bad idea, not just because you'll get in trouble with the IRS, but also because you can actually get in trouble on a corporate level and it gives an opening for lawyers to come in, and pierce the corporate veil and say, hey, this isn't a legitimate business. They're not running this professionally and basically come after you personally for liabilities of the company. Definitely don't want that. So it's really important that you support those business expenses with the right contracts. Uh, doesn't um, ne necessarily have to be very formal or very intense, but it does need to be contemporaneous, which in the terms of the IRS means it has to be entered in before you file your tax return for that year. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. You can't go back and create these documents for the past after you filed your tax return. Need help with taxes? Visit us at clear.tax today. Clear is your tech forward financial solutions for startups and growing businesses. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up.